Hello everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome to my channel, Bagadet Crochet. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this throw here. Now this is the uh, very beautiful shell ripple style throw. Now you do not have to make a throw with this stitch. Um, I'll give you the multiple and you make whatever you want with it. Um, you can make it make a beautiful scarf, a beautiful top, whatever, whatever you can imagine you can make with this beautiful, beautiful um, shell ripple stitch but the tutorial i'll be showing you how to make the throw but i'll get like i said i'll give you the multiple and you can do with it whatever you like and whenever you make you show me on my facebook page i'd really like to see it i'll post a picture to that below in the description box all right so this is what it looks like I'll give you a picture of it i don't have a lot of room up here but uh this particular one here right here is made with five different colors one two three four five and they go in the same order there you can make it with as many colors as you want or you can make it solid ombre it would look beautiful regardless how how you do it um and the size of the one that i'm going to be showing you today is approximately 48 inches wide and about 58 inches tall and you can make yours bigger or smaller if you'd like so do you guys want to go get want to go ahead and get started on this beautiful, beautiful ripple blanket or whatever you want this ripple stitch to be. Let's do it. All right, so that particular blanket that you see right there was made with this bonbon yarn right here. This came from Mary Maxim. Of course, you don't have to use this yarn. You can use any yarn that you choose. But this one is a 100% acrylic um yarn and it is a lightweight number three you can use any weight that you choose though but to get it to the approximate size of mine using the same chain count um i did use a three weight so like i said it was made with um five colors if you go to my if this is the yarn that you choose to use um it was light pink purple tan burgundy and this here dark brown all right in total you'll need about 2250 yards of a dk weight yarn to make it approximately 48 by 58 which is um about a ball and a third ball and a half of five five of these is what it was so or a total of like i said 2250 but you don't have to use that yarn remember you do you, whatever you choose. You bought you a blanket, not mine, not mine. And then for this particular blanket, I'm going to be using a size H, which is a five millimeter crochet hook. All right, so this uh, ripple style stitch here that I'm going to show you is done in a multiple of 16 plus two, which means that you need to chain in uh, 16s. It, you know, if you don't want to do it the same size as me or you want to use this stitch for something else, it's 16, 16, 16, 16, 16 until you get, you know, it, it as big as you want your project to be. And then you would add two more stitches to your base chain. So 16 plus two. Now, uh, if you want to follow along with me, you <clears throat> and make it to the approximate size as me, you want to start out with a chain of 178 chains 178 okay i'm going to show you on a smaller scale but we'll go ahead and get started now this is just a two row repeat it's very very easy to do all right so once you get your chain of 178 chains we're going to go ahead and start we're going to start with a foundation row okay so this foundation row does not count as a row one okay it's just a foundation row and what we're going to do is a foundation row of single crochet. So we got uh, 178 chains on our hook. And we are going to do a single crochet in the second stitch from our hook. So we don't count this one on our hook. So one and two. Single crochet. And then we're going to work across. And we're going to put one single crochet in every single stitch and so we make it to the end of our row so this is the foundation row of single crochet 
and it's just one single crochet in every stitch until we make it to the end. All right, so I've made it to the end of our foundation row. Um, if you're following along with me, you will now have 177 stitches. Or if you made a different chain count, you will have one less stitch than you did whenever, uh, whatever your chain count was. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start row one of the pattern. So rows one and two are the repeat rows. All right, remember this first one was just a foundation row. So now we're going to start row one. And what we're going to do is we are going to chain one and turn our work. So that chain one does not um, count as a stitch. All right. So we are going to do a double crochet three together over the first three stitches. So starting with this very first one, the next one and the next one, we're going to do, we're going to double crochet them all together. So I'll show you how we're going to do that. We're going to yarn over and we're going to go into that very first stitch and we're going to draw up a loop and we're going to yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch, draw up a loop. We're going to yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook. So we've done that twice. We're going to do it one more time. We're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch, draw up a loop. We're going to yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook and we will have four loops that remain. We're going to yarn over and go through all four loops like that. Give it a little bit of a tug and then we're going to chain one. Now we are going to skip one stitch and we are going to do a double crochet into the next. So skip and then we're going to double crochet. Just like that. And then we are going to do a chain one. And then we are going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next. So skip and double crochet. Now what we're going to do is start the repeat of row one. So we're going to chain one, we're going to skip one, and we're going to put five double crochets into the next stitch. So it's going to be a shell stitch, five, du five double crochet shell stitch. So make sure you chain one, skip one, and we're going to work five doubles or a shell all into the next stitch. So there's one, two, three, there's four, and there's five. Just like that. Now we're going to chain one. After that, we are going to skip one and double crochet into the next. So we skip this one and double crochet into the next. Like that. And then we're going to do that again. We are going to chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next. Like that. And then we are going to chain one. And now we are going to do a double crochet five together over the next, we're going to skip one and do a double crochet five together over the next five stitches. So it's like the double crochet three together, but we're going to be working over five. So after this double and you chain one, you have to skip one. And then we're going to yarn over. So skip this one and go into the next and draw up a loop and yarn over and go through the first two loops. Remember, we need to do that over five stitches. So that's number one. Again, yarn over and go into the next. Draw up a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two. That's two times. Yarn over and go into the next. Draw up a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two. That's three times. Yarn over and go into the next. Draw up a loop. 
yarn over and go to the first two that's four times we've done that you can see them right there one more time we're going to yarn over and go into the next draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two like that and you should have six that remain one two three four five six yarn over and go through all six loops on your hook give it a little bit of a tug and chain one so that's your double crochet five together now we're going to again we're going to skip one make sure this one looks like it's empty but see it's not it's not so skip this one and then we double crochet into the next like that and then we're going to chain one we're going to skip one and we're going to a double crochet into the next and that is going to end the repeat of row one so we're just going to do it again starting with the chain one skip one and we're going to put the shell into the next stitch so skip one five double crochets or the shell into the next stitch there's one, two, there's three, there's four, and there's five. We're going to chain one, we're going to skip one, and we're going to double into the next. We're going to chain one, we're going to skip one, and we're going to double into the next. We're going to chain one, we're going to skip one, and then we're going to do our double crochet five together over the next five. All right, so yarn over, make sure you skip one, and then into the next one, we're going to go into it and draw up a loop, and yarn over and go through the first two loops we need to do that over five stitches so that was the first one again yarn over and go into the next stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through first two yarn over and go into the next stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two so we've done that three times again yarn over go into the next stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two that's four times one more time yarn over go into the next stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two you should have six loops that remain let's yarn over and go through all six loops like that chain one and then we're going to skip one now this one looks like it's not been worked but it has all right so make sure that that one's been worked so we skip this one and we double crochet into the next one and then we're going to chain one skip one and double crochet into the next and then we start our repeat again so this is what is starting to look like you can see that is starting to take the ripple effect when you do your shell stitch up here this makes the shell or the five doubles in one stitch it makes the peaks of the ripple and when you do the uh five together it makes the valleys of the ripple so you just want to keep repeating this until you get to your last nine stitches of the row and that's where i'll meet back up with you all right i apologize it should be your last <laughs> your last 10 if you if you're counting the repeat it would be nine because we skipped this one if you skip this one there would be nine stitches left all right but if you you know if you're not counting the repeat and then you got this one right here we're going to skip it but it's empty right now so now i have 10 but i'm going to go ahead and skip it okay because that would end the repeat if i skip that one and then I will have nine stitches that remain. So what we're going to do now is we're going to chain one. 
make sure that you're skipping that because that's what ends the repeat. And we're going to put five double crochets into the next stitch. Stitch. So skip that one. And you put five doubles. There's one. Or, or your shell. Two. Three. Four. Five. And then we're going to chain one after that. And we're going to put, we're going to um, skip one. So skip, double crochet into the next. Chain one. Skip one. Double crochet into the next. Like that. And then we're going to chain one. When you skip one, you'll have three stitches that remain. So you got four right there, but we're going to skip one and we're going to put a double crochet three together over the last three to match the beginning. So we're skipping this one and we're going to do a double crochet three together. So we go into that one, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two, go into the next one, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two and the last one, we are going to go into it, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two. You should have four that remain. Yarn over and go through all four like that. And that will end row one. So if you look at the repeat closely, it's really quite easy to see it. There's just two double crochets in between each shell and in between each of the uh, five together. And there's always, you always skip a stitch between everything and you always chain one between everything. So you'll be able to see just how easy, how easy it is. All right. So for row two, you can change colors if you like. That's completely up to you. Uh, we will chain one after that uh, double crochet three together and we will turn our work. Now we are going to put a single crochet into the very first uh, stitch right here. So this double crochet, the three together. And we're going to put a single crochet into it like that. And then we're going to put a single crochet into every chain one space and on top of every stitch until we make it to the end of the row. So into the chain space, single crochet. Into top of the double, single crochet. Into the chain space, single crochet. Into the top of the double, single crochet. Chain space, single into the double, single. We're going to work a double or a single on each of these five doubles here. Like that. Okay. Into the chain space, single. Into the double, we single into the chain space, we single, into the double, we single. Now remember there is a chain one right here, so you have to make sure you get that. There's always a chain one in between every stitch. And then we have to do a single on the top of this uh, double crochet five together. So right here, single. And we're just going to keep repeating this single crochet into every chain space and into every stitch until we get to the end of row two. All right, so I'm coming to the end of row two. Now you can change colors. It, it, it's just a repeat of what rows one and two, and you can change colors as often as you like. The blanket that you see in the picture, the colors were changed now. Um, every two rows. So you do run one and two and then a color was switched. One and two and a color is switched. But you don't have to do that. But I'll show you how to change colors in case you want to. 
So I'm at the end of the row here and I have one more stitch left here. Um, here it's at the end of this double crochet three together. I'll tell you what you can do to try to keep your rows a little straighter. If you go into this chain one down here, the turning chain, and draw up a loop, this would be your, your, your final single crochet of row two. And then if you want to switch colors, what you do is bring in another color like that. I know the colors are similar. I'm sorry. And then you can clip off your other yarn because you're not going to use that anymore. And take the tail of your new color and the tail of the color that we just clipped and put a little tie in it. And that way you can come back later and untie it and start again. And that will end row two. And now your collar is changed and you begin, you can begin repeating rows one and two. Now at the end of row two, you should have the same amount of stitches that you had at the end of your foundation row. So if you're following along with me, you should have 177 single crochets. And what you would do is just start row one again with your new collar, or like I said, you can use the same color it doesn't matter it's up to you but you just chain one and turn your work and then we would do the double crochet three together over the first three stitches just like we did before so make sure you go into that very first stitch and do your three together so remember i'm just repeating row one now in a new color like that Yarn over and go through all three. And remember, make sure you, we always chain one after every stitch. And we always skip one. So then we would skip one and double crochet into the next. And then we would chain one. We'd skip one. And we would double crochet into the next. And then we would chain one. And we would skip one. And in the next, we would put five double crochets or our shell stitch. So there's one, two, three, sorry about that, <laughs> four, and five. And then you got to make sure you chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next. Remember there's two doubles in between. Chain one, skip one, double into the next. Chain one, and then we would skip one, and then we would do the double crochet five together over the next five. So you skip one, and we would work the double crochet five together. So I'm just repeating row one, and that's what you'd want to do. You just keep repeating rows one and rows two until you get to your uh, desired size. So let me bring mine up here. Ugh, sorry about that. And I would chain, chain one, skip one, and double. Chain one, skip one, double. All right, so you, you, you get the idea. You're just gonna keep repeating rows one and two. And after we repeat for a while, let me get the right side of it up here. Right side wrong side whatever side this is what it starts to look like isn't that pretty i think it's mine's upside down i don't know it could possibly be but it's pretty either way all right so following along here this this particular blanket has 100 in one rows and that is not counting that foundation row if you count the foundation row it has a total of 102 but if you're counting the repeat rows it has 101 repeat rows the last row was a single crochet at the top but you do yours as big or as small 
as you like. I love it. It's beautiful, and I cannot wait to see yours. Make sure you send, show me a picture, even if you don't make the blanket. Show me what you make out of this stitch, all right? Facebook page below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, please. It's free to subscribe. Have access to hundreds and hundreds, I mean hundreds, over a thousand crochet tutorials, all free for you to enjoy. Anything that you could ever want to make in multiples of them. Hey, if you enjoyed this, give me a like, all right? Thumbs up. See you in my next one. Bye, guys.